I'm Apollo Anton Ono, eight-time Olympic medalist. You are watching JR Sport Brief. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You are checking out the Sport Brief. It's the 2015 Special Olympics out here in Los Angeles, California. It's all about inclusion, and we have some big names that are helping to push the cause. It's not about me. Listen to these folks. Our movement is about unlocking the potential, right? It's about what sport does best. Tell people, use your body, enjoy yourself, give it your all, and let it rip. And when that experience comes to people with intellectual disabilities, the results are extraordinary. I am proud to be on the International Board of Special Olympics. Um, I was involved when I was skating and my, throughout my skating career, you know, I've been asked to lend my name. But the one that I am so touched and so proud to be a part of is Special Olympics. My favorite part has to be that everybody is just here to come together in such, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, um, disability, no disability, everyone's here to support. And I feel like if the world had a little more of that, I mean, not to be so cliche, but uh, be a lot happier place. We're doing in schools and different things to make sure that people understand that kids with intellectual disabilities can be great friends, they can do everything, they can have jobs, they can finish college, they can do all the things that everyone else can do. And this weekend really represents that and it's great to bring everyone together. I think Special Olympics is very special because it utilizes sport to bring together countries from all over the globe um, and show and advocate towards giving these people who have intellectual disability a chance. I took part in a panel discussion on uh, sports, uh, the power of sports to change society uh, through uh, diversity diversity, inclusion, uh, talked about being an LGBT athlete, and it's important for people to continue to have those conversations because that's a, the way that ultimately their hearts and minds will change and uh, p this culture that we have will move to a culture of acceptance. It's so inspirational to come and meet all these different athletes and kids and people with physical disabilities or mental disabilities and see the joy that they get from sports. With the social impact that sports has within a community, how can countries benefit from more people, more kids participating in sport because it's a common language where they develop their personal self-esteem. Sports seems to bring the best out in people where everybody is looking at the same objective. There's so many inspiring people here and global change is just happening so rapidly and I think it's because everyone's becoming so much more aware and conscious about, you know, that things do need to change and that if all of us are a part of it, it just happens so much faster. As we get older, we go to the stage where we're becoming disabled intellectually. So, do not think about what you're doing now to the other. Think about what would happen to you as you get older in your 80 and 90 when you start going to, uh, to the period where your mental started to start going down. And we hope each one of us can look at himself with self-conscious, say, whoa, this is really fun. It's going to be me one day. Any final message before we get out of here? Join. Special Olympics movement needs you. Uh, we got a place on our team for you. Join us. SpecialOlympics.org. Uh, it's easy to find us at Tim Shriver. Um, I, uh, we're, we're tweeting a lot and trying to trying to make the message clear. And the videos in our movement on YouTube and stuff like that. If you Google Special Olympics on YouTube, I, g give it 10 minutes. It's going to change your life. That's the Dakembe way. No, 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 not today, not to my house. <laughs>